these days, I'm swamped with projects just like everybody else, but that doesn't mean you can't take time to have a fantastic meal that cooks up and packs tons of flavor. My chicken meatloaf meatballs are an easy fix, and not to mention their greatest leftovers. And then when you pair them with steamed broccoli and my roasted garlic and brown butter mashed potatoes, you got yourself a winner, winner chicken dinner. And of course, everything we do, you know it's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. So let's get started. All right, so what I wanna do is I've got some russet potatoes that I just wanna cut up and drop into some boiling water. So let me show you how that works. I've got two potatoes right here and they've already been washed and dried. I'm just gonna give them a chop and then get them right into the boiling water. Potatoes are all chopped. And then on the stove, we've got some water that's boiling. I'm gonna drop these potatoes right in there. All right, so the potatoes off in the water. Really simple, just a quick boil on the potatoes. Now, for the potatoes, I'm gonna mix in lovely roasted garlic. And what I like to do is take a whole head of garlic, and I'm just gonna cut off the top of it. Let's put a little olive oil right on top of there. And then this goes right into the oven to get nice and roasted. All right. Let's talk about these meatballs, right? So I want you to think about um, having like meatloaf, but we're gonna turn the meatloaf into meatballs. And instead of using ground beef or ground pork or whatever you normally use, we're gonna use ground chicken. So right into here, I'm gonna drop in some ground chicken. And right before I season it, in this bowl, I'm just gonna put in like two slices of bread. Now you could use whatever kind of bread you have on hand. Wheat bread, white bread, Hawaiian rolls, it doesn't really matter. It's like an old Italian trick that does wonders for these meatballs, okay? All right, then I'm just gonna put in whatever you got, milk, half and half. So I'm just gonna drop in some half and half, just enough to sort of get the bread nice and wet and then I'll let it hang out and then we'll come back to that momentarily, all right? Now let's talk about lots of flavor for the meatballs because I kind of believe in making sure, you know, everything has a different layer of flavor. You want the food to taste good, right? So you got to season it, all right? So into a food processor, I'm going to drop in a couple of cloves of garlic. All right, I've also got some diced onion that's going to go in as well. All right, and then some diced bell pepper. I'm just gonna give this a go, just to make sure everything gets nice and blended. This looks perfect to me. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating, you know, tons of amazing flavor, almost like an insurance policy, just to make sure everything about these meatballs are moist and delicious and juicy. So in go the onion, the garlic, and the peppers. All right, now let's talk about the seasonings that we're gonna use for this, because that's just not enough. You know how we, I like to roll. So let's bump up the garlic flavor with some granulated garlic that's gonna go right into here. All right, let's give it a little bit of spice and some personality by adding in red pepper flake. All right, and you know I love um, the Italian seasoning, right? Because it's got all the stuff that we love. The rosemary, the thyme, the oregano, the basil. This goes right in here as well. So then I'm gonna add in some onion powder right to here. All right, a little bit of ground celery seed, right? This is that little thing that makes you go, oh, what is that, right? So a little bit of that goes in, not a lot. And then, you know me, one of my favorite ingredients besides salt and pepper is gonna be ground fennel seed. So ground fennel seed is like everywhere. So it's perfect in this dish as well. All right, let's bump that up. A little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh ground pepper. All right, a little salt to bring out all the flavors. Now, I wanna make sure that this stays super moist. And an old Italian trick that really works is that bread that we had soaking in the half and half. I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit and I'm gonna throw 
the mashed bread right in there as well. So eventually I'm gonna use my hand, but I just wanna break everything up and mash everything around. And look at how much flavor you get like inside this bowl, right? So it's full of like amazing flavor from all the herbs, all the spices, and then all those lovely aromatics. Look at that. All right, and then I'm just gonna make sure that these cook up nice and moist. A drizzle of olive oil is the last thing we need for like the most perfect, amazing meatloaf meatballs you've ever had. All right, so I have a sheet tray lined with some parchment paper. This way, all the work that we went through will make sure that the meatballs don't stick, right? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take two spoons, I'm gonna dig up some of the meatball mixture and I'm gonna put it right here and try to form like, you know, a mound if you can, right onto the parchment paper. All right, there we go. Now the oven's preheated to 450 degrees. Like we really wanna get these nice and seared. And I just do one more thing, a little bit of oil, a little bit of like pan spray, just to make sure like the outside gets nice and like seared in. So I'm simulating a pan fry but obviously in the oven. All right, that's it. Oven's at 450 degrees. These are gonna go in. It'll take about 10 to 12 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. All right, so I think our meatballs are just like almost done, and they are. Look at this, right? Look at how they're sizzling and turning this lovely sort of golden brown color. My grandmother used to make this sort of topping to go right on top of the meatloaf, and I'm gonna simulate the exact same thing. So I've got a little bit of ketchup right here, and I'm gonna drop in some brown sugar into the ketchup, okay? All right, I'm just gonna give this a good stir. All right, and then I'm gonna brush the mixture right on top of the meatball. All right, now these are gonna go back in the oven five or six more minutes until they're cooked all the way through. So I've just got a skillet that I've been getting warm and I wanna add this brown butter to the top of the mashed potatoes and I'm gonna show you how you do that. So on like a nice low heat, I'll put the skillet and I'm just gonna drop off this stick of butter right in there. All right, and then we'll just cook the butter until it turns a nice sort of nutty golden brown color. All right, so all I've been doing is just adding in a little bit of half and half to those cooked potatoes. I've drained them out really nicely and I'm mashing them away. All right, and they look really good. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the potatoes before we add in all the other good stuff. Here's the salt. And then here's the pepper. Look at the garlic that we roasted off, right? So you see how nice and golden brown uh, this garlic has gotten. I'm just gonna pull out some of the garlic cloves, just right straight out of here. It's almost like it's got nice and soft. I'm gonna give that a good stir. And then let's not forget that brown butter that's now turned nice and nutty, right? Put that right in there. There we go. Give that a stir. All right. I think those meatballs are ready to rock and roll. Oh, uh huh, they are. Uh, all right, I wish you could smell what I smell inside this kitchen, and these smell absolutely divine. And look, see, the parchment paper helps the meatballs come right off. Nothing sticks at all. Look at these brown butter mashed potatoes. A Little bit of that. This is the steamed broccoli that I mentioned earlier. Gotta have some green somewhere on the plate. So a little bit of steamed broccoli will go a long way. All right, I told you, not only am I jam-packed with activities and being an entrepreneur, you know, I could also get in the kitchen and whip up a fantastic quick meal that's packed with flavor and it's pretty darn delicious. So let me, let me give it a taste. I wanna get in here. Look at the, the specks of garlic and pepper and onion hanging out inside of there. This is gonna be really good. 
and I'm gonna do what everybody else does, eat it with the potatoes, right? It's hot, so I can mm. I gotta do one more, okay? It's that good. Look at that, it's that good. With the potato, garlic, the brown sugar and ketchup. It's super moist from the bread with the half and half. I mean, listen, don't take my word for it. You gotta give it a try. You know where to find the recipes. They'll be on my website, it's dariuscooks.tv. There's just two things I wanna tell you, as I always do. Food is my life, life, it's my food. Until next time, with food as quick and as delicious as this, I wanna wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.